All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It's Nick, as always, and call me Touch Ninja, and we are once again back playing some Assassin's Creed Origins on the beautiful and glorious PC. Once again, so glad that I swapped over to this version. The frame rate is just so much better, and everything just looks so gorgeous. <gasps> Draw distance is just incredible. Um, so we're picking up exactly where we left off. We have reached Alexandra for the very first time. Met up with our wife, Aya. Had a little bit of schnucky. And pretty much continuing on with the main mission. This game, there are not really side missions because you kind of have to do them because there are like level suggestions and level caps uh, that you should try to meet before you tackle on main missions. And the combat in this game actually is a lot harder than it has been in previous games. There are no like quick counter kills. You run into a lot of guys, your best bet is just to run away. So, yeah, we're going to do a couple of those side quests uh, just to get our level up. And you probably notice that uh, Bayek has some new gear. So, I dropped down the visa <laughs> and I paid for some Helix points. And I, what I mainly bought is I bought things that I don't think would impact the game too much. So, these outfits have no purpose other than just for pure cosmetic looks. Uh, because they don't enhance anything at all. You can toggle the hood on and off. So I bought the Scarab outfit. And I up, I bought the resource pack. So I could upgrade all these things at the bottom. Um, it basically is what it is. The only way to upgrade these is by hunting and hunting animals. Tigers, crocodiles, gathering some wood. Looks like there is something right there that I can't purchase. Which is fine with me. I mainly, I I like hunting, but I know that I'm a very OCD person, and if I were to do it, you guys would absolutely, well, not some of you, but a lot of you guys would go crazy because I get, like, sidetracked. I, like, be very close to uh, something, and then I'd take, like, a half hour to get the rest of it, and it would just, like, drive you guys nuts, <laughs> to be honest with you. And as well, uh, it is the video game season. There's a lot of stuff to play right now. Uh, Super Mario Odyssey, Wolfenstein, so uh, I just want to try to... Where do I actually jump down from here? Oh, there it is. I just kind of want to stay on track and stay on top of all the series all at once. So the one thing I purposely did not purchase was the extra weapons. So you can bu literally buy exotic weapons from the store. But personally myself, I feel like finding cooler and earning new weapons is like, going to be like a big part of this game. So I, I reframed. I didn't really want to do so. Uh, so we're still using some bitch ass blue weapons <laughs> as well as the exotic weapon that I got from their beginning from getting the gold version of the game, which I really don't even use, so. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much the update. We're gonna continue on. Sorry, it's kinda long-winded. Let me call in a horse here. You can actually buy a horse that's a unicorn on that store, which, as tempting as it was to ride around on a unicorn and being fabulous, I refrained from doing so because it didn't really fit the setting of the game. There's actually some Ezio and Altair outfits as well, but those are earned through. Those are earned through doing like Ubisoft club stuff. I have no idea. Anyways, once again, it still wouldn't fit the style of the game. So even if I were to have bought it, I don't think that it would have been that. It wouldn't. I probably would not have equipped it. I also refrain from buying any gold because you can use gold to upgrade. I think the main purpose of gold in this game is to upgrade some of the existing weapons that you have thus far. So, didn't want to do that either. Oh, I'm supposed to assassinate that guy? My bad. Tell them I'll buy them out if they agree to take their business elsewhere. A pitiful end to a pitiful existence. I will tell the rest of this. 
if I see her again. There's the birthright side quest. Explosion. Next quest does pretty much a very, very much so anticlimactic. We will fast travel to the. Oh, I haven't. Oh. I have to get out of combat before I can fast travel again. <laughs> I like that slight limp that, that he has. <laughs> when, uh. When we break an ankle. Okay. So as you can see, like, oh man, this is a level three base. <laughs> I've tried. I tried tackling a level three base before, and it is so difficult. This guy. This place is heavily guarded. I am not gonna- I'm way too under level for this right now, so I'm just gonna focus on trying to kill this guy and getting the fuck out hey, as quickly as possible. See that workers on the docks are rounded up and questioned. When I say question, I mean beaten. They must know something. Get back. Hey, what the so much for the assassination attempt. Hey now! Level 11. Go slow. Die for me. You will pay, corpse. God, knock me on the freaking. You want to play the arrow game? I'll play it with you, dude. From kill. Oh, that was a main guy. Why have you dragged me into the land of the dead? You sought to kill my wife. Your whore of a wife is a murderess, wafily and wanton. I did my duty as a philagetai, and for this, you have taken my life. Is your vengeance above all, Lord Medjay? Be warned. The Philakis will hunt you down and exact revenge. May the Hidden One walk beside you. The Lord of the Duat awaits. That feather, man. Trademark. I'm glad they brought that back. Ah, run away! Wait a sec, eat this! You getting tired? Hey, hold on! Hey, there you are! Run away! Okay... That was the quest for the wife of Pooh. And uh, the snake. You kidding me? There's no fast travel point there. Take a horse. Vigilant. Uh, go send you. We got the royal palace though. Level eleven guys everywhere. Boo 
Boost up. Boost up. Might be better staying to the outside of the... Oh my god, there's so many guys here. I guess this is the Royal Palace. <laughs> yeah. Gonna I'm just gonna stick to the outside of the wall. Still have a long way to go. Okay, look. Okay, we'll get as close as we possibly can. You have disrespected my wife's honor. Now you shall die. It's kind of like the Princess Bride. My name is Rodrigo Montoya. Hey. I already know. You killed my father. About to die. I don't even know if it's that's the correct name I just used, but. <laughs> How the hell did you get in here? Oh, God. Long gone. You get in from the bottom, don't you? Oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> Why no assassinate option? Come on. Sword. Come on, show me a staircase. Dude, what the hell? Who designed this thing? I is stealth. Looks, Im looks important. Locked. These are the rooms of the royal scribe. A ladder. Hmm. Why would the ladder be here? Key up here? There it is. A key! Climb, please. Thank you. Key. Scramble. Official papers. This just belongs to the royal scribe himself, Eudorus. Huh? False bottom. Letter. Esteemed Imus, the Pharaoh remains compliant and is our puppet in all things. 
Act with caution in Siwa. The murder of the Heron was but the first. Two from among us here in Alexandria have also been killed. However, the situation is under control. Gennadios is actively questioning the populace. We commend your efforts, Ibis. Long life. Stamp to the seal of the snake. The snake is Eudorus, the royal scribe. I have said that the royal scribe is often at the bathhouse. I will kill that naked ear that you taught us there. The pharaoh is just like a puppet for all these guys. These fat, rich white guys. It's kind of like how real politics works. Loot, 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 loot. Got me some bronze. Didn't really want to exit where I came in, but... Might have to. Can't be helped. Probably want to get outside. Yeah. Fast travel to the bathhouse. Ah, <laughs> no, <baby. laughs> Scare the shit out of that girl. <laughs> ah. Yeah, I guess if a guy just dropped from the sky, I'd be kind of scared too. Okay. Have a look, see. The hell was that? What was that sound? I thought my game crashed for a second there. Don't be shy now. Oh, we kept the hidden blade on. So how the hell are you supposed to kill this guy? Aristo is taking Eudorus to court for plagiarism. I love coming here. The building alone is worth the trip. Look up at that expansive ceiling. Simply divine. Is everything to your liking, my lord? There's no other way in. Oh, wait. No, there is. Get him. <laughs> Was that really necessary? Come on, dude. You stabbed him in the neck. That, came, that kind of seemed a little awkward, didn't it? Oh, that's how you lose your finger. Die and be done with it. May the gods curse you. What cause of you to kill me? It was you who murdered my son before my eyes. You are a fool. At the temple! In Siwa! That forsaken shithole? I had nothing to do with that disaster. It is too late for your lies. Anubis awaits. It is worth the loss to slay the snake at last. The snake? The snake? will never die. Oh. 
son of Apep. The lord of the Duat awaits. This little motto is like the OG Rusk Weska and Pache. <laughs> the OG OG! No, that's how it all began with the losing of the fingers. Eudoros killed! Oh, their gods, he's been murdered! But he was so handsome. It's Eudoros, poor soul. Melder. It's just the finger. Got nine more. Long gone, bitches! Wait a minute. It's the guy with the <laughs> with the bloody hands. Oh, get the cod rise on. Nice. We got a new outfit, boys! <clears throat> Played the rest of the game in a towel. <laughs> I always kinda thought the missing finger was a little bit out of place for an assassin's because assassins are supposed to be stealth like. And if I was a Templar and I saw a guy with nine fingers, then that'd be just like, fuck. <laughs> Shit. Bayek, finally someone who appreciates my genius. My play has been confiscated. You are attracting trouble. Worse yet, they jailed my actors, all among the finest poets of Alexandria. They say if I attempt to put on the play, I will be put to death. Be careful, Faros. You are frail and brittle. You stick to writing, and I will help you find your play and actors. Where they at though? Fifteen. Do we shift the scribe or? Yeah, I'll do the shift the scribe. It's only two hundred meters away. The next batch of missions are all level twenty. All the main. Actually, one second. Oh, I guess. I'll speak to Aya first. <clears throat> can I fast travel there? Yeah, I can. Oh, isn't this romantic? <laughs> Imagine I pushed her off. <laughs> I just like straight pushed her. <laughs> My dearest. The snake and Gennadios are dead. It was Eudorus. He died flailing in the baths. I wish I had been there. Man, these two just go at it, man. They don't they are not shy. They just go after it. Just make another cameo. God.
D. Hey, I was wondering if I should pull you out. Your adrenaline and BP are elevated, and it's affecting your heart rate and hormonal markings. Serotonin and oxytocin in particular. What happened in there? Aya's here. Who's Aya? Bayek's wife. I can feel her nearby. You can feel her? Pretty sure that's the bleeding effect. Along with Bayek's memories, you're, you're also experiencing his emotions. No, you dork. I think she's actually in this cave. Spouses usually share the same tomb. A second mummy? We should really report to Abstergo. Maybe after I find Aya. I I'm gonna call it in if you don't. Deanna, no! If you do it there, well, get no credit. They'll cut me out like always. <sighs> okay. There. What is it? The bleeding effect is leading me to Aya. Oh, great. More fuel for your superhero complex. She's an assassin. That's why she didn't want to tell Abstergo. It's not the whole credit thing. Undercover. She's down there. My turn for a leap of faith. Leap of what? You're in no condition to do any leaping. Too late, bitch. I already did it. <gasps> what Damn, the heck? It's cold. Why is her body in a hole? I was right. She's here. Oh, there you are. Thank God. I can almost taste the blood. Uh, uh, okay, you're making less and less sense, Leela. We need to report. Not yet. Not yet? So when? <sighs> well, I can't chew my way out of here. Gotta climb. Mm, getting a little bit more park will cool. be told. What are you doing now? Climbing. <clears throat> and it's hard, so uskuti, will you? Fine. Let me know when you get to the top. <clears throat> last time I was out here, I wasn't able to do any climbing whatsoever. That bleeding effect is strong. <clears throat> Yeah, my mind is on that she's a spy. Get a call from the heck. I'm going back in. Why? I took a DNA sample from Maya. I want to see your memories. Look, I get that you're excited, but. The more risks we take, the worse things could go for us. It's my dream on the line here. Let me do this my way. Let me see. Go, Team Paradise City. That was a good night. Okay. <clears throat> Back out. This tomb. D, I found some ancient text. Need a translation. Upload it to me. So, when are you calling this into Abstergo? There's some interference on the line. Didn't catch that last bit. Why do I even bother? Oh, found my notes on the gene sequencing code. Are you ever gonna tell Milton that you tested it with his DNA? No, and neither are you. There's more than one way to donate your body to science. Aya's DNA needs to go in the Animus. All right. Here's the blueprint from Adalis' system mod. Could have used a bigger fluid chamber. Could have used a bigger piece of tape over your mouth. Whoa, so aggro. Okay, your conversation's kind of cringe. Generator's holding up. Job, Layla. You can actually return outside anytime that you want. Adding Aya's DNA to the chamber. It'll take time to sequence. You won't be able to sync with her memories right away. 
AKA more Bayek time. Layla, something else you should know. Since you're mixing gene sequences in an uncontrolled manner, the transition between memories will likely be unpredictable. I'm comfortable with unpredictability. Yeah? Well, I'm worried. You always are. Get back in there.